and welcomes Sister BK Deepa to this Avyakt Mulli class in this beautiful subject of the art of art, awareness, realization, and transformation. A few words about Sister BK Deepa. And I know you may not remember, but I've met you personally. And I remember saying that the face is showing such a glow and such peace and calmness. And I was so impressed by Sister Deepa's personality overall. And her educational qualification is a Bachelor of Commerce from Mumbai University. And she's been associated with the Brahma Kumaris for more than 20 years, dedicated service. And she's rendering her services presently from the Ville Parle branch in Mumbai. She has been a faculty member of Brahma Kumari's business and industry wing and has conducted self-managing leadership programs and other self-development programs at various business industries and houses. She's also conducted various workshops and programs in national conferences at Mount Abu. She's also a trainer for business and industry wing faculties on a range of subjects, self-managing and leadership, stress management, positive attitude for success, self-orientation workshop, personality transformation, conflict res resolution through meditation, balancing relationships and responsibilities, leading by values, a balancing act. And today she will be guiding us on the subject of the art of art, awareness, realization, and transformation. So over to you, Sister Deepa. <laughs> Thank over. you so much, sweet sister. Yeah, and it's a pleasure again to come and meet this beautiful family. I think uh, you have every day been connecting for Baba's Avyak Mudlis. And it's so beautiful that Baba has created this beautiful bouquet where every day you are not only empowering this family, but also the vibrations are reaching the entire divine family. As today's topic is, thank you, sweet sister, for uh, introducing it's so much love. <laughs> Actually, all those, as we know, all that information is only... Um, Gratitude to Baba, who is able to use each one of us in his own beautiful way. And as today's uh, subject, which I accidentally just heard these three words uh, during a presentation with some, with my co-faculty was sharing. And uh, these three words, which Baba has mentioned so many times lovingly, in his murli, especially Avyat murlis. The combination of these three words very beautifully share this process of transformation for us, Baba's students. As we see every murli, every day, Baba through his murlis gives us this awareness of our original self. So Baba uh, very lovingly reminds us to go through this drill which Baba many mentions regularly about the five forms in Pan Swaruki drill and we find that whether it's the drill or whether it's every murli which Baba gives us different wonderful swamans Baba wants to ignite the awareness within the awareness of the self, where he lovingly reconnects us to our true self, original self, as we always were. Because we have recognized and we have understood very beautifully through more that now we are in body consciousness. We still are. In the percentage is less, surely. But awareness of the physical 
body is still there. And Baba wants Now you can hear me? Is it okay? Yes. Okay. So as uh, Baba has give, given us each of this beautiful Swamandri and understanding of ourself, of our relationship with Baba, of drama, all these different aspects of understanding and Baba's spiritual wisdom gives, gives us this deep connection to our originality, especially for the self. And as I start reconnecting with myself, with this awareness, then we start experiencing those beautiful virtues, qualities, those beautiful swamans which Baba is giving us. And I think that is a time when this deep realization starts. And it's only when I start experiencing it for myself that then I have the power to transform myself. Where then I start accepting myself as this woman which Baba has given me because I've started experiencing it. And so then the transformation comes because then the awareness remains within me even in my daily life. And so the way I think, the way I speak, the way I connect with each one, the way I uh, respond to situations, my whole perspective towards everything, my feelings, my emotions, mm -hmm. all that is guided by Baba's wisdom and then the transformation comes. And I think like today's Avet Murli also, mm -hmm. today's Sunday, so Avet Murli is there. Baba is talking about how, because it is 18th January Murli and uh, to and so Baba is again giving us the awareness of how Ramha Baba completed his beautiful journey of you know, becoming an angel. And so he gave us this awareness how one is the power which we experience through our own spiritual efforts, but the most important experience of power is what Baba has willed us, you know, given us you know, by willing, you know, all these powers. Like, you know, we have a will for all the physical, material assets which belong to our parents. So they put it on a will paper and then they you know, give it to us. And so we inherit it. And so Baba was talking about the powers which we have inherited from. Shibaba. And then now Brahma Baba also. And so Baba give us, gives us this awareness of our own self. And then when we see ourselves, if we connect ourselves in the different roles which we have in Sangam Yu, so because Baba gives us this awareness of his relationships with us, so then first is I become Baba's child. In Sangam Yuk, the awareness that I'm his beloved child. And so as soon as I have this experience that I'm Baba's child, then automatically the realization is there of the virtues and qualities which I have inherited from Baba. And so my true self, as Baba's child, I am master of all virtues, qualities, powers, 
like him, master of all what he is. And that deep experience which Baba gives us, when we remember him, when we are listening to Baba's murli, when we had this beautiful Ruri Han interaction with each other, different realizations that he gives us, but the awareness which he gives us in, uh, you know, special classes of our sweet daddies, our sweet seniors. So these different aspects of awareness, when I work on that, when I allow that awareness to remain with me, remind myself again and again, that is the time that I start experiencing it. So that is why Baba always says that once we listen to Baba's murli as Baba's child and then Baba's student, then we have to teach ourselves. Let's remember Baba while uh, the connection is being redone with Sister PK, Deepa. Internet. So once that deep experience is there for myself, I start feeling what Baba has been sharing through his swamans, through daily murli. Once I experience it for myself, that's a time when I am ready to experience and so I can express that swaman in my daily interaction, my responses. I start seeing myself differently, feeling myself differently, my perspective towards every scene of drama, every soul with whom I'm interacting changes. It is according to what Baba has given me awareness. So my first awareness of myself, but then most important is the awareness of Baba in my life. And this awareness, when there is an experience, the realization comes. Uh, Till the awareness is just as information, there is experience, but there's not so much of power. But once the deep realization comes in, Baba is my true parent. Baba is responsible for me. When I remember, when I am in this awareness, then Baba becomes responsible for me. So as Baba's child, as Baba's student, Baba becomes a supreme teacher, Baba becomes my Sadhguru, Baba becomes my life partner, my friend, different relationships, the awareness. And then, then I start becoming aware of Baba's role in my life, awareness of the self, awareness of my relationship with Baba and his role in my life. As God, maybe to, from Dwapur, we were aware. We had some, you know, little understanding through bhakti. He's the one who's the sustainer of the world. He's the one who's the creator of the world. He's the purifier. So he used to sing this praise. But information and understanding was there. But the awareness that this is his role for me. And he is mine. He belongs to me. That very close relationship with Shiv Baba. That experience was missing. And because that experience was missing, that realization was missing, I couldn't enjoy that relationship in some way, as Baba says, we missed, we didn't know who Baba was. And so now knowing who Baba is and his relationship with me, experiencing it, then we enjoy his power. Then we enjoy the benefit of his contribution at a day-to-day -day level in my life. And that realization, what Baba is doing every day,
So while we wait for the connection uh, to be redone with sister, let's continue to remember Baba and the divine connection that he has with each one of us. Sorry about the internet. Uh, now it is, I hope it's going to be better. So as we find that once this experience of realization is there, then we have the power to transform. Because each one of us, we've come to Baba only to transform, to change. Baba very beautifully says inwardly that the return which we need to give to Baba for all this love which he's showering on us, beautiful sustenance which he's giving to us, the return which we can give, the way we show our gratitude to Baba every moment is to turn ourselves, to transform ourselves. So our aim is to transform. But the gap which we feel, you know, I'm sure each one of us has this feeling that after every murli which we listen and we discuss, especially Abhyak Murlis, but even Sarkar Murlis. It's like a mirror which Baba is showing to us. And immediately the thought comes that, Baba, this aspect I need to change. Baba, this I need to think differently, speak differently, connect differently, express differently, behave differently. And so each one of us again and again reminds ourselves that we need to change. So transformation, I think, is something which each one of us has very clearly in our mind. But the power to transform will come only when, like Baba in this last uh, Sunday's Murli said, Anubhavi Murathmani. So Baba says that you will become an embodiment of experience. And that's why each aspect of awareness which Baba is giving us every day, has to be experienced by us. That deep realization has to come. And for that, I need to remind myself again and again. I have to lovingly teach myself every day. And that beautiful um, method which Baba and uh, Brahma Baba, Mama, and our sweet dadis have imbibed in teaching themselves and working on themselves every day. And that is why Baba 
like into this Abhay Puli again says that Baba has willed all these powers to you. And because Baba said that the uh, original jewels, the Adi Ratan, all of our sweet dadis who were with Sakar Baba, their foundation was very strong. Because very deeply, you know, Baba had helped them uh, through uh, you know, beautiful the 14 years of tapasya, which they did, and so many beautiful Baba uh, you know, did experiments of meditation in those 14 years. And so Baba saw that the awareness was strengthened every day in different ways, you know, uh, through uh, journeying, through experimentation, through you know, sharing amongst each other, through uh, activities, through you know, a little bit of Baba used to have race amongst each other, little groups of the sweet daddies for Purshat was there and they used to race with each other. That is, Baba was in every different way helping uh, them to strengthen their awareness. But it is, the basic thing is that I have to keep reminding myself. I have to teach myself. Until I don't teach myself, the deep realization doesn't come. I am inspired by Burli when I listen or when I read also. And for, as me, as a personal, as, as Baba student, I myself understand that there are so many beautiful things which I am inspired. But I know that this has not come in my behavior. It has not come in my day-to-day uh, -day, uh, expression or responses because... I have not experienced it for myself. I have not, you know, sat down and taught myself. So this, uh, you know, subtle effort which Baba wants us, which Baba again and again tells us, but attention rakhu, abhyas karu. So Baba keeps telling us, Baba, you know, sweet children, work on yourself as a student. Hmm? Have this attention, teach yourself. So that is that aspect of um, realization. And in that deep aspect of realization, when I start experiencing whatever Baba is sharing as awareness, then that becomes the key. Because when I experience it, it is so beautiful, it is so divine, it is so powerful, it is so real. So then automatically I want to remain in that awareness. I want to remain in that experience in my daily life. So it's like Baba tells me that I am an image of solutions. That is the soman which Baba gives. Baba says, every child, samadhan swarup hai. Prasanna chit hai. You are the one who is the embodiment of cheerfulness. So this awareness is there. But once I start experiencing, experiencing the power behind the soman, experiencing the soman for myself, experiencing the magic which is there in this woman when I start ex you know, expressing it in my daily life. Right? And I can experience and feel the transformation which can come about in the way I can see every scene of drama. So when I'm talking about realization, it's also this uh, beautiful step where I start visualizing. So Baba has told me, to be the embodiment of uh, cheerfulness. So I visualize myself in a situation where there is a lot of questions. So Baba says, prasanna chit banna, prasanna chit banna. So I see myself in a situation where there is chaos, where there is a little you know, situation for me, a test for me, where there are some questions, some thoughts of doubts or fear or you know, Worry. And in that, being the image of cheerfulness, my experience, my feelings, my state of mind, how powerful it is, how it can immediately allow me to see that situation with Baba's understanding, with Baba's wisdom, and deal with it, respond to it in a very powerful way in a very um, solution-oriented way, in a way in which um, I become um, 
an image of solutions for myself and others. I remain free from the experience of the obstacle. I become nirvigna. And so once I visualize myself in that way, then it becomes, and I've experienced it deeply for myself, then it becomes very easily expressed by me. Then transformation becomes very easy in that area. And so then it will start being seen uh, in my uh, activity. Like Baba said last morning, that uh, Baba said, Aapka hal, aapki chal se These words of Hindi are always very, very beautiful and very powerful. And so Baba very beautifully gave us this understanding that whatever is your state of mind, your progress within, is very easily seen in the way you are responding, your activity. And so what Baba very beautifully said in last Sunday's Murli, that you will start serve through your vibrations, through your uh, thoughts, your energy which you're radiating, most important through your face, through your daily interaction, daily behavior, daily responses to situations. And that is the transformation which Baba wants to see in us and what I think the world also wants to see in us. Because uh, even if there is a lot of maybe awareness that uh, this knowledge is very powerful. There are many souls who come into connection with Baba's Gyan, Baba's Yagya, and they maybe are aware. But uh, that, yes, this the knowledge sounds very, very good, very practical, but they need to see us as role models. They need to see the transformation in us. So Baba says it's only our transformation which can touch them which can help them to initiate the process of art, <laughs> their process of you know, awareness, experience, and transmission. So uh, I think daily Murli is inspiring us through this for this process. And uh, once we start enjoying this process within ourselves, then I think uh, we can not only fulfill Baba's um, desires, which Baba has, but also fulfill our own. And then automatically, I think, Baba's service, which Baba wants us now at present, which is the need of the hour, can be done by each one of us as an instrument. It's only as much as uh, Baba's knowledge, whatever aspect of knowledge Baba is mm, very lovingly discussing, guiding us in every murli, only if I have completed this process, will I experience the power of that knowledge? Otherwise, it's more, you know, in my mind, I will, I'm inspired. I want to, uh, you know, practice that. I express that wisdom with a lot of uh, clarity, but it gives me no benefit because it's not seen. And until it is not seen, Baba very clearly in Murli says that uh, we cannot really play the role of Baba's instrument because uh, today the souls surely need the strength of us becoming role models. And you know, the, they need to be empowered, not only given information and understanding. So that empowerment comes only when we start practicing it. Then they can see it, feel it, and our vibrations also will give them the strength to begin their journey. So our future, uh, you know, which Baba is preparing us, now also we are doing that service, but in the future it's only the service which will work, and that is serving through our mind. Only Sakash will work. And if we see that uh, how Brahma Baba, in um, today's Murli, Baba has said how Baba became an example for Tyag Tapasya Seva. So Baba gave, became an example for this elevated um, sacrifice which Baba did, Tyag, where Baba had everything and Baba gave up. Baba had 
everything at a physical level, but goes in the highest level of his career, everything. Then man, then Jan Baba said, everything Baba was, and Baba gave everything to Baba. So how did Baba take that step? It was because when Shri Baba gave him the awareness, the deep realization which he worked on in experiencing it, that yes, this is my room. Baba gave him the awareness of what Baba wants to do through him in the visions which Brahma Baba got. And then that deep realization was there. And that is why the transformation was seen very, very fast. So this process, Mama Baba, had, they were able to do it very fast. Mama, like we hear that Baba, whatever Murli point Baba used to share, Mama used to immediately practice. Sunana or Banana Samantha Baba. Mama used to, that day only, and that moment only when Baba is sharing the spiritual wisdom, jewels of knowledge, Ma was immediately practicing. So that happened only because Mama was able to sustain that awareness, naturally experience it, empower herself with the power of that point of knowledge, of that jewel of knowledge. And so it was immediately seen in Mama. Sunana or Banna, there was very less gap for Mama. And that is why we hear that and we have seen how Mama became number one. And uh, Brahma Baba also, you know, this process, very less gap. For us, for me personally, also feel there's a lot of time which I'm taking. Some things became easy, but there are some things which I'm taking a lot of time. So as less time we take in this journey, that is the moment the spiritual understanding, the power is experienced in my transformation and then Baba can use me as an instrument. If we see now, Baba you know, is wanting to use each one of us because each one of us is very, very important in Baba's Behad Yagya each one of us. And for this transformation which Baba is bringing about in this world, each one of us, our role is very important. And that is why Baba very lovingly gives us this awareness of our self as Baba's instrument, as Baba's image of support for others. As Baba says, you are the world benefactor souls, you are the world sustainer souls. You're the support for the world. So again and again, this deep realization which Baba is giving us on the basis of the points of knowledge that is awareness. So I have to sit with myself in every moodly, see what points Baba has given me about the awareness of my role in Sangam and then in Golden Age. Also awareness of what of my closeness with Baba. Every Murli gives us this awareness of my closeness with Baba, Shiv Baba, Brahma Baba, my closeness with both these souls, closeness with the seed. And as much as I uh, am aware of this and I start experiencing this, then remembrance is natural. Because when this awareness of my relationship with Baba is there, its closeness is there, then there is not so much of, of effort to sustain Baba's remembrance. And then the most important awareness is of the time, that is of drama, very, very important. Because I think this gap comes for me personally, I see the gap is because the awareness of the time becomes missing. I mean, I see myself getting caught up into routine and then start accepting uh, the time as normal time. This moment is the most beautiful moment of Sangam with time and age. Every moment is so valuable. And in this moment, like Baba says, you can earn multi-millions. You need to accumulate all these treasures from Baba for the whole Kalpa. So the 
awareness of the time. And I think that awareness, if we allow ourselves to strengthen again and again, realize again and again, experience again and again, then this uh, gap of transformation becomes less. As I start seeing myself transform, I need to, uh, you know, every day see what changes I am bringing about. See myself. You know? That is why Baba, every day Murli, Baba is talking about chant. So it's so important for me to see myself transform. Then I am inspired by my own transformation also. And then I'm inspired that, okay, I reached here. Now this extra leap. Now Baba wants me to cheer. Now here, here. And so I start enjoying this journey of transformation. So I need to uh, be a very loving friend to myself for transformation. I need to be a very loving friend to myself. I need to every day lovingly encourage myself, mentor myself, be a coach to myself be a loving guide to myself every day. And that's why Baba gives us this opportunity of traffic control and every hour, this one moment of awareness, of realization, of lovingly encouraging myself to transform. So as much as Baba says, you have to have good wishes and uh, a merciful attitude for others, uh, have love for others, but as much as importance, I need to have lots of love for myself. And when being myself means encouraging myself every moment. And until I don't encourage myself, I'm not going to be able to have that joy of transforming. When there is this joy, uh, and um, which in the world, they use the language um, passion, <laughs> but... Um, intense experience of joy when I see myself being able to imbibe what Baba wants to see in me. I see in myself what Baba wants to see in me. And when that um, joy is experienced, then I want to move further and further and further in this journey of transformation and see myself being able to fulfill Baba's hopes. And every time there is a test when I see myself passing with honor, seeing myself transmingle. Last time, in this similar test, I failed. I was a little stressed or weak or little subtle, whatever um, struggle was there within because most of the Brahmin souls have worked a lot on their behavior and uh, even words and communication. But at a subtle level still, we have... A lot of work to do. I have a lot of work to do. So <clears throat> when I see myself past time, oh, I was a little stressed. I had these weak thoughts. I had these waste thoughts. I was struggling within with the influence of my own old sanskara. And this time, it was so easy. Pass with honor. And so I, you know, in front of Baba, and <clears throat> I am able to discuss and you know, see myself. Then I'm able to take blessings from Baba and also give blessings to myself. It's so important. For transformation, I have to be a loving uh, guide and coach and friend to myself. And you know, every time I fail, I'm not able to go through this and I go back. It happens to me many times. And so when I go back, Again, I need to sit with myself, be firm, yes, surely, but then encourage myself. Be firm in that aspect where I am very clear with Baba's uh, awareness, with Baba's wisdom that this didn't go well. I, it was my mistake. It was, I didn't uh, you know, think as Baba wants, he wanted me to think here. There was... Some there was this challenge in the way I saw this situation in which the quality of thoughts I created. So there I have to be firm, where I become aware of what wrong happened or how I <coughs> did not deal with that situation rightly. But after that, 
I have to lovingly encourage myself again. So that is very important. And that's how we learn from how Baba gives every day in Baba's Murli. You know, Baba's Murli, Baba's very firm. <laughs> uh, but, you know, every moment Baba's firm and then he encourages us. Says, Kam purusharthi hai, lekin bache himmat rakte hai. Baba ki madad milti hai. So then Baba encourages us. Baba says, Acha, himmat se haat upar karo. Baba says, put up your hands. And Baba says, the photo is being, uh, you know, removed. You are being clicked. And so this memory will remain. And so you will allow yourself to sustain this awareness. And you are the ones who are the victorious ones. And so Baba then gives us so many blessings so that we can reaffirm our faith in ourselves. So this, the, you know, method which Baba uses us gives us a lot of clarity of what's going on, how we are where the gap is, where we are lagging behind, gives us a picture very clear in Mabas Murli. And so I immediately understand this is where I'm wrong. And yet Baba encourages us. And Baba reminds us that you are the ones who are the victorious ones. You are the ones who have done it every kalpa. So, you know, I have to use this uh, method for my own self also. Give myself realization, but not uh, get trapped into self-criticism or self, you know, negative thinking for the self or self-doubt, self, uh, doubt, self uh, low self-esteem, you know, low self-image. So I should not get trapped because that is also another trap of um, our sweet friend Maya, so of her own weaknesses. So that's a trap. And so I have to use Baba's method of, again, lovingly bringing myself back into the awareness, giving myself this experience, sitting with myself, teaching myself lovingly, giving that realization to myself and then seeing myself change. Holding my hand and moving towards transformation. Encouraging myself. Then acknowledging it. Appreciating it within myself. And then experiencing Baba's blessings. And also when that change is somewhere acknowledged by divine family around us, again, there are blessings also. At the end, that moment, you are, I, every one of us um, gives our gratitude to Baba, thanking Baba, that Baba could help. Baba is helping us for this transformation. Without Baba, nothing works. What, I mean, how much ever Baba says that in Sangam you that um, you know, children are um, the ones who are you know, creating magic, but it's just one little, uh, in maybe powerful thought which we are taking, one little step which we take forward, but the rest is Baba's magic. So, so much uh, thanks to Baba for every day. Baba does not get tired. Every day Baba reminds us. Every day Baba brings us back to our awareness. You know? Yesterday he did it. Again we forgot. Again today lovingly brings us back into that awareness. He gives us that realization. He allows us to you know, again enjoy that uh, awareness of transformation. So, thanking Baba every moment that Baba is um, teaching us how to bring about this beautiful transformation as he is seeing within us, as he wants to see within us. So when I see myself with Baba's vision, then it becomes easy, it becomes inspiring. Thank you very much. I would also like you to share your thoughts so that we can learn together. Thank you, sister, for the very nice uh, discussion and bringing us into the world of awareness, realization, and transformation. If there are any questions from anyone from the group, uh, you may please go ahead. Thank you, sister. I thought the clock is going to ring and uh, our MC is going to really put the gong off. The thing is over. But just one question, Deepa Ben. See, we know, yes. I, we know about awareness. I have already put whatever was there in my mind in the chat box. 
si vino a vernos, it's a journey of self-discovery, self-inquiry. And let me tell you, we have gone through so many materials, so many people, so many philosophers, so many saints, uh, how to go about and this finding awareness is such a beautiful exploration of the self because what they did was going beyond the I, beyond the ego. And it's a discovery of a path that each individual would like to walk. We cannot say that till then we couldn't say that that was the real discovery. It was just a path through which I could use that path to walk. And this discovery, as you rightly said in the end, sometimes led to uncomfortable truths of the self, like where we lost our self-esteem, we self-criticized ourselves, we crucified ourselves, we had a distorted reality of who we are. Then what was that now where you are saying about this kind of the awareness of the self. Remember that time you spoke about awareness of self, it was there. Awareness of father, they didn't have father, but they had supreme power, it was there. Awareness of time, it was there. And there was everything where every philosopher tried to peel off the layers of the wrong self by using breath techniques or body-mind connections, so many things. But of course, the journey never ended. So what is that now? What was that Catholic element now? Which really you're saying is this awareness will bring about a deep uh, kind of realization and a visible transformation. What is that one element which you can just say in short, which I can tell them, hello, this is what we are believe in. Keeping in mind, what all was there, Om Shanti? Mm -hmm. uh, as I think, uh, I mean, today we cannot tell anything. We have to just experience and express in our uh, in interaction with others. And it's, it's only what, like Baba say, says in last Monday, last uh, Sunday, that it's only what is felt by them when they interact with us, when they see us, Baba sees your uh, face also, the divinity which they see, the experience which they see, the deep sense of contentment which they see. It's that which will give them the inspiration that, okay, yes, we understood whatever you know knowledge maybe these people are sharing. Yes, yes, we have also understood, but we have not experienced it. So Baba has given us the experience of the closeness with myself as the awareness of our originality. And also Baba has given us the experience of closeness with him, with Baba, with myself, my true self, and all the different forms Baba gives us you know, the way we are in Sankam Yuga, as an uh, angel, uh, future, in, in, eternally as with Baba in um, the home, a spiritual home. So experiencing that awareness, that is the magic which Baba has done. Allowing us to experience it, not just as information. Baba gave us that experience. Whenever we uh, reminded ourselves and we were sitting in remembrance of Baba, Baba gave us that experience. So when I said, I am a peaceful soul in remembrance, Baba gave us that experience of deep experience of my own peace. And so because I experienced it, I was able to see myself peaceful and have that faith, yes, I am peaceful. And so then I remained in that awareness and started uh, you know, interacting with myself, with others and situations. And so that transformation was seen. Experience of Baba. So in the world, most of them then have information. It's more just awareness, but as understanding. Experience Experience is not there, it's missing. So it's only understanding, it's only information and understanding, but experience is not there at all. So we have experienced ourselves as whatever Baba has given us the points of awareness and uh, our experience of Baba, our closeness with Baba. And so as 
different relationships and his role which Baba is playing to, in Sangam with Bhutas. And so because of that experience which we have had, an experience of Sangam, we have experienced the magic of Sangam, where we have been able to see the power of our thoughts, we have been able to see how you know, the power of enjoying every moment of being free from worry, mojunka, yuge, so experiencing that. So because we have experienced all this, that is why we have the power to change. And that's a major difference. And Baba says that is why you have to also give the experience to them. Most of the times, I mean, my little experience, which is there in, in uh, different, uh, you know, experience of seva also. In the recent times, uh, it's only what vibrations which they are experiencing from you and uh, what they can see in your, uh, you know, appearance, in your face, in your... Uh, in activity is what inspires them. They immediately talk about it. Say they say, yes, we have experienced that vibration of peace when we have interacted with you. So, I mean, at present, though, I always experience that it's Baba's magic which is working. My effort is less that but Baba fills in, especially when we are Baba's instrument. When we are there available and Baba's is giving us the opportunity to serve his children. So Baba fills in a lot, but then that's how I have to also remain. Work on myself and remain in the end in that way. So it's the experience which is missing. And we are very, very fortunate every moment to experience and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so to share some thoughts. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else would like to share some thought of your person? Thank you, sister. It was a wonderful session. So, uh, like you rightly said, uh, the awareness is the first step, and then but that awareness that we experience, right? So the experience will definitely become uh, be being an embodiment of uh, that. Because uh, it is when we experience that, that is when we want to do more, more and more. Because when we don't experience, right, we don't really uh, like to do it again. So the more we do it, then the, the closer we get to where we want to become or what we want to become. So that is what inspires us to do it again and again. So that is where slowly the transformation also takes place eventually. So, yeah, thank you so much for this enlightening um, class. Thank you, Baba. One experience that uh, the whole journey has given me is every time any obstacle comes in, or any kind of challenge that comes in, I can only see that at that point of time, there might be a bit of upheaval, but uses. And there's an experience that tells me that you need to be, you know, there is, there's a lot of peace in every situation. So now the, whatever obstacle comes in, there's only, one thing that comes to me is it's going to be beneficial in the whole journey and the awareness that everything is perfect as it is meant to be Lucky sister we are unable to hear you yeah I I completed my sharing, mentioning that every situation, every obstacle, I feel it's an opportunity now. And every time there is a level of peace, a journey. And I guess sister's internet is again having a challenge. We can't see her. I see.
Sister, we're going to do the meditation with uh, Sister Deepa, right? Yeah. Once her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Didi, Didi. as I enjoy the awareness of being this beautiful light. Through my mind's eye, I see myself, this divine spark of energy. I return back to my true awareness. of my innate calmness, peace, purity. And as I enjoy the state of purity and peace, I fly to my spiritual home. beyond this physical world. To my sweet world of silence, sweet silence home. Where I reconnect with my spiritual parent, sweet Shibaba. Through my mind's eye, I see Baba as a supreme light. Baba merging me in his heart. And as I experience being merged in the ocean of peace, the ocean of love. My mind and heart is filled with Baba's sweetness. Baba's pure love, which has complete faith in me. faith in my transformation. And I see myself like the father, embodiment of virtues, embodiment of power. I experience Baba's love, strength, blessings. Baba's pure energy filling my heart, filling my mind with his unshakable strength, his unshakable faith in me, his unlimited love. His blessings. Baba seen me as his jewel of victory. His jewel of contentment. 
merging this awareness, I come back to the present. Om Shanti, Sister. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Sister Deepa, and uh, thank you, Divine Family. Thank you. Let's continue in this state of awareness, realization, and transformation with Baba's blessings through it. Om Shanti. Thank you so much.